and say var score is a number and equal to s. So now the score will get passed in and then I will put it back into a variable called score and set it to s. All right. Um, win points to win the game I'm going to change uh, from current level uh, times 100 I'm going to say times 5 because 100 is not going to work for me right now I'm going to go with a shorter score to win the level you need to hit, shoot 5 ducks not 100 okay and alright so now I've got variable current level score and variable win points all in my show screen function. This is the shows the startup screen. And then down here on the end, you'll see that we've got this function call where we say screen underscore MC screen underscore button dot on press equals start game. And this calls the start game function. I'm going to change this a bit. I'm going to say, instead of this, I'm going to say dot on press equals a function. Okay open and close parentheses, next line, open curly brace, two lines down, close curly brace, and then I'm going to say inside of it, start game, and now I can actually pass it the parameters I want to pass. So start game, I'm going to pass it current level, I'm going to pass win points, and score and I don't need a space here. So now when I call the start game function, I'm passing it the current level, the win points, and the score. And so once again, I'm taking my variables and passing them on to the next function, which is going to help. That's going to uh, improve the scope of these variables and allow them to persist uh, through the game. Um, all right, now, and I, I prefer that as opposed to having variables on the just outside of functions like this one. You know, I, I did it as a kind of a hack, but if I can clean it up, I will. Now, since we call the start game function and we're going to pass it these three parameters, now in function start game, I'm going to say, get ready to accept CL for current level, comma, WP for win points, comma, S for score. Okay, and I'm just using letters to stand in for the actual words here. And if I want to use strict data typing, then I can do, okay, this is going to be a number, and this is going to be a number, oops, uh, number, and this will also be a number. So I'm going to pass it um, C, L, W, P, and S, right? Okay, and um, then inside of the function I'm gonna give myself a line here and I'll say level variable level equals CL win points equals WP right because we gotta pass it the function and now stick it in a variable again and score equals S Okay, and I'm not calling var here. I'm not using strict data typing. I'm being a little sloppy with that. Sometimes I'm using strict data typing. You know, strict data typing is like this, var, the variable name, and whether it's going to be a number, a boolean, or a string. That's strict data typing. Or, you know, the function name, and then colon void. That's strict data typing. And then other times I'm getting pretty sloppy with it, not including that. So, once again, I'm not a pro at this. Um, and... Uh, I think that looks pretty good right now, so I'm going to finish right here with the start game function and, and uh, finish up in the next movie.